A Rhode Island congressional candidate is arrested for allegedly stalking a couple in Ohio. Democrat Michael Neary was stopped by police earlier this week after a couple said he was following them in their car. Now, police say they found drugs inside his vehicle. 12 News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now with the charges he faces and what he was doing nearly 800 miles away. Kim? Well, Michael Neary was here in our studios in East Providence just two weeks ago, telling me that he lives in the state now. But according to a police report we obtained, his permanent address is still in Ohio, despite the fact that he's running for a Rhode Island congressional seat. I am running for the Democratic nomination to represent the place that has always been my home, Rhode Island's 2nd Congressional District. This was Michael Neary kicking off his congressional campaign in Warwick on February 19th. Thank you. And this was Neary on Wednesday after the Miami County Sheriff's Office in Ohio took him into custody. The 28 year old's arrest came after a couple called 911, panicking that Neary had been following them in their car for about 60 miles. According to a police report obtained by 12 News, once Neary pulled over for officers, he appeared to be nervous. His eyes were bloodshot and he was talking fast. The report says Neary told officers he just came home a few days ago from Rhode Island and was very stressed. Michael said he was in Rhode Island for two weeks. He said he used to live there, is looking at moving back, and is currently running for a political position in the state of Rhode Island. Hi, Kim. Thanks for having me in. The timing of that two week visit to the Ocean State coincides with Neary's appearance on 12 News at 4 back on March 10th, where I asked him where he currently lives. When was the last time that you lived full time in Rhode Island? Island, and do you live here once again now? Yes, so I am living here once again. But the police report lists his address as being in Columbus, Ohio, and says he told officers he stayed with his parents while in Rhode Island. The report says Neary had an argument with his family before he left, something he said left him very stressed and mentally drained. He told police he went for a drive to clear his head and was drawn to the Ohio registration on the car he allegedly followed. He said he did not know the couple inside. Police say they found marijuana, a pipe, and a half empty bottle of whiskey in Neary's car. He was charged with menacing by stalking and possession of marijuana. Court records show he pleaded not guilty and was later released on bail. And Neary has so far not returned our messages seeking comment. Now, he faces a crowded field of opponents in the 2nd Congressional District, including fellow Democrats Omar Ba, Joy Fox, Seth Magaziner, Cameron Moquin, Sarah Morgenthau, and David Siegel, and Republicans Jessica Dela Cruz, Alan Fung, and Bob Lancia. I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.